In this optimization problem, we're going to do a, a, a one with a poster. A printer uh, needs to make a poster that will have a total area of 200 square inches and will have one inch margins on the side and a two inch margin on the top and a one and a half inch margin on the bottom. What dimensions will give you the largest printed area? So we're actually looking for the uh, largest kind of inner rectangle. I uh, take a look at my picture because I, I try to make this one purposely kind of difficult um, but have the picture in here already so you can see I'm trying to maximize uh, the printed area which in this case is going to be uh, H minus three and a half because I made H the entire height I subtracted the margins uh, the width I made the entire width of the poster and then subtracted the margins so uh, my equation I'm trying to maximize here is actually uh, W minus 2 multiplied by H minus 3.5. This is my big equation. Okay. Uh, my constraint equation, well, I have a I need H by W, and let me again put my constraint kind of over here kind of off to the side because we're not going to do much with it. Uh, we need HW, H multiplied by W, to be equal to 200. And it, it really isn't going to matter which one you choose to solve here. Uh, I'm going to choose H. Okay, I'm going to have H equals. So H equals 200 divided by W. All right, this is our constraint piece. Uh, and again, make sure you really focus on the equation that you're trying to maximize or minimize, the optimization equation. We want the largest printed area. The printed area is this piece inside here. So W minus 2 multiplied by H minus 3.5. The constraint equation is important, but it's not what we're going to play with for most of the problem. So now let's use this. Let's use our constraint back up in here. So area it's going to be equal to W minus 2. And H I'm going to replace with 200 over W. There's 3.5. Let's multiply this out. So area becomes uh, 200 minus 3.5 W uh, minus 400 over W uh, plus 7. Okay. Um, as we find the derivative here, let's do that because again we're trying to maximize. We want to know where the derivative is zero. So let's do dA dW, or if you want to do d prime, that's fine. Derivative of 200 is gone. The derivative of negative 3.5 w is just negative 3.5. Uh, this piece up here, this 400 over w, just remember I'm going to put a little note here. We could write that as 400w to the negative first. So it becomes, because it's minus now a negative, the derivative becomes a plus 400 over w squared, because it would have been 400w to the negative second. Well, we set this equal to 0. Okay. Uh, easiest way, I think, to begin is just maybe by moving things over. So we now we could be solving 400 over w squared equals three and a half okay. over one cross multiply so we could just have uh, 3.5 w squared equals 400 divide both sides by three and a half that that does not come out well so let's just uh, square root both sides and that is going to be our width. Again, by rights, we should be putting this on a number line to verify that it is indeed a, uh, a maximum or a spot that gives us a maximum. Uh, much room there. Um, you go back to the derivative, you know, right in here. You plug in a number less than that. You're going to get a uh, positive. Plug in a number less than, or I'm sorry, greater than that number, 
uh, you're going to get a negative, making that indeed a maximum. Now it said dimensions, we've got the width, it would be really easy to go back and get the height by just plugging that in for W, so I'm not going to uh, do that here, I'll let you think about that. Uh, but again, we just have to set up our, our optimization equation, then set up your constraint kind of on the side, and substitute down to one variable so we don't have to do this implicitly. Get the derivative set equal to zero and use your algebra to solve.